this pivot towards equity, racial equity, and a focus disproportionately on outcomes is something that is rather new, but seems to have taken the country by storm. It's, and, it's yeah, almost the only thing people can talk about. Equity sometimes. meaning as opposed to equality. Equity as opposed to equality. Which in, can you... I can give you a practical example of that. Yes. COVID, we were just talking about a moment ago. We know that the most vulnerable population when it comes to COVID are older people. That if I took people over the age of 55, sure. that's 80% of the deaths. There have been actual conversations about prioritizing people on the basis of their race because COVID is said to disproportionately impact black people relative to white people. It is a ridiculous proposition, but it's a proposition that's found its way into the mouths of governors here in California, the, the pages of the New York Times. We're actively Why talking about this kind though? of ridiculous because we actually know when we look at the global impact of COVID in the United States, again, 80% of the people who are dying are older, around 18% of the people who are dying are black. A life lost to COVID is a life that matters. And we can well, focus on the people who are vulnerable without making this about race. Making it about race only obscures the actual issue. If and it's separate, less to help, if be you helpful. separate race from economic insecurity, sure, right? Like, like Hispanics are hospitalized at three, four times the rate as, of white people for a variety of reasons. For a variety of They're essential reasons workers. Right. They're riding the bus from Boyle like, Heights here, to Beverly Hills. But the important point is that it's not fundamentally about race. You can't un-Hispanic them. There may be different issues in their communities. It could be that they live in, well, in homes with more people. It could be that they live in more urban centers. If that's the case, the policy you're tailoring is for people in urban centers, not Latinos. This is a confusion of categories that is actually distracting us from forging good policy. What you get is great sound bites. You right. don't actually fix problems. It always, it, it, it makes... We've seen in recent days folks who are part of Team Biden say things along the lines of, you know, race and social justice are going to be in every aspect of policy that we do. Every economic policy, this is going to be our lodestone. And one, that sounds like a bit of a constitutional issue, which we may have to adjudicate, and I suspect will. Um, but two, it just does not sound effective to me. If you want to focus on problem, really complicated problems, nuanced problems like right. education, like health care... Those problems are not things that we get a clearer picture of, that we see better when we inject race into the conversation. Race is divisive, it divides us, it obscures the truth, and it generally ruins... Well, it does country. matter in those conversations often. But you're, you're saying don't make... I mean, isn't that what critical race well, theory is Well, it's performative, so it matters in that way. Some people want you... what They want to hear you say it. And systemic right. racism is a... Is a phrase that I find uh, really frustrating because I think it categorizes things, but it doesn't but really explain them. It doesn't BLM actually give us a sense of how to fix them in any material right. sense. There are all sorts of disparities, and right. they exist for all sorts of complicated reasons, and we ignore that when we just say and racism, all sorts racism, of ways racism. you can be disadvantaged in life. Sure. You know, I mean... And, and advantaged. I, I am yeah, privileged. And, Anyone who looks at me and presumes on account of my appearance that I'm disadvantaged is a fool. But if you're well, born... I mean, in look the, at this face. But if right. you're born no, in the... I mean, yes. I mean, they're up... Yeah. Yeah. Right, but if you're born in the Mississippi Delta and you're living on a poor farm or a shack, like, you're there and you're poor because you're black and because there's a history or you could be of white raging in, racism. You could be yeah. white in those circumstances. Poverty sucks Have you regardless, been of, your, regardless <laughs> of your race. One I, out of ten people there are white, and I've they're living met, on plantations, and, there and they go to Ole Miss. there are plenty of places like Appalachia where you'll find concentrations of deep, systemic that, po poverty, and all of the people are white. I don't care what they look like. I want solutions that work. And quite frankly, talking about racism all the time is not a solution for anything. What would you know it, about it? Cool Peter. <laughs> Let me explain something to you, sir. All right. Thank Please. you, guys. I appreciate the discussion, but now it's...